Hello everyone and welcome back to Easy Dentistry. Today we are uploading the second part of the topic sedatives and hypnotics. Here we will be studying about the benzodiazepines. But before we proceed, have you watched the sedatives and hypnotics part 1? If no, go and watch it. The link is provided in the description box. In part 1, we have studied the classification of sedatives and hypnotics and also we have studied about the sleep cycle and barbiturates in detail. So watch it first. Also friends, please subscribe to our channel and hit on the bell icon so that whenever we upload a new lecture, you get a notification of it. So benzodiazepines were introduced in the year 1960. Since then, the benzodiazepines have replaced the barbiturates. The reasons? Firstly, benzodiazepines have a high therapeutic index, that is, they are safe drugs. Secondly, they have no effect on the respiratory and the cardiovascular system functions. Thirdly, if injected by IV route, the benzodiazepine reduces the BP and reduces the cardiac contractility. It causes less distortion of sleep. It has no effect on the disposition of other drugs. It reduces the abuse liability. It produces mild tolerance to the patient. The dependence process is not present and the withdrawal symptoms are very few. Also, the antagonist for benzodiazepine is flumazenil, which can be used for benzodiazepine poisoning. Now, coming to the pharmacological actions of benzodiazepine. First, actions on the CNS. Each drug of the benzodiazepine group exert a selective anxiolytic, hypnotic, muscle relaxant and anticonvulsant activity. Benzodiazepine hastens the onset of sleep, it reduces awakening in between the sleep, it increases the sleep time, in, it increases the sleep in stage 2 of the sleep cycle. We have already studied the sleep cycle in part 1. Now, benzodiazepine, it reduces the sleep in stage 3 and 4 of the sleep cycle, it shortens the REM phase, it gives a refreshing sleep to the patient. IV diazepam injection may be helpful in producing analgesia. Now other actions of diazepam. Diazepam, it reduces the nocturnal gastric secretion and thus reduces the stress ulcers. Now talking about the site and mechanism of action. Now benzodiazepine, they act on the midbrain ascending reticular formation which is responsible for wakefulness. It acts on the limbic system which is responsible for thought and mental function. Then it acts on the medullary site causing muscle relaxation and it acts on the cerebellum which is responsible for ataxia. Now. The benzodiazepines do not themselves increase the chlorine conductance. They have only GABA facilitatory action. So it acts as a low ceiling CNS depressant. Now the benzodiazepines, they act by a specific uh, B benzodiazepine receptor. This benzodiazepine receptor is an integral part of this GABA-A receptor chlorine channel complex. So this benzodiazepine receptor is an integral part of it. You can see here diazepam and the receptor for diazepam is this. So this is an integral part of the GABA receptor chlorine channel complex. This GABA receptor chlorine channel complex forms a pentameric transmembrane anion channel which is gated by GABA for primary ligand and modulated by the benzodiazepines. Now modulatory modulation of this benzodiazepine receptor, if there is a modulation of this benzodiazepine receptor, it increases the chlorine channel opening While the bicuculin, which is an antagonist to the GABA-A receptor, it acts, antagonizes the action of the benzodiazepine. So, the benzodiazepine receptor 
when diazepam acts on it it increases the chlorine uptake now the pharmacokinetics benzodiazepines are rapidly absorbed orally uh, the intramuscular absorption is irregular plasma protein binding is 10% shown by flurazepam and 99% shown by diazepam then it is widely distributed in the body and more lipid soluble drugs they enter into the brain there is two phase plasma decaying curve the first is due to distribution and the second is due to elimination so benzodiazepine have a very short duration of action now the benzodiazepines are metabolized in liver by dealkylation or hydroxylation they are excreted in urine by glucuronide conjugates the adverse effects the benzodiazepines are relatively safer drugs some adverse effects include dizziness ataxia disorientation amnesia and increased in the reaction time that is it depresses the psychomotor skills so driving is not recommended when the patient is on benzodiazepine because the reaction time of the patient is reduced then other adverse effects include bl weakness blurred vision dry mouth and urinary incontinence the withdrawal reaction is in the form of anxiety insomnia restlessness malaise loss of appetite and bad dreams now the interactions of benzodiazepine with various drugs benzodiazepine it interacts with alcohol and other cns depressants and causes excessive impairment there is synergism of these drugs secondly benzodiazepine may interact with sodium valproate and induce psychotic symptoms then benzodiazepine it reacts with ketoconazole and erythromycin giving a prolonged action of benzodiazepine benzodiazepine interact with cimetidine isoniazid and oral contraceptives resulting into slower action of benzodiazepines now talking about the non benzodiazepine hypnotics these are the new group which are chemically different than benzodiazepine they are agonist on the benzodiazepine receptors they are agonist to the benzodiazepine receptors and produce a hypnotic and amnesic action now because of its short duration of action the non benzodiazepine uh, agonist can be used for treatment of in insomnia these non benzodiazepine group of drugs include zopiclone zolpidem and zaliplon let us study each of this drug in detail the zopiclone effect of sleep on the uh, 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 by produced by the zopiclone is similar to benzodiazepine it does not cause any rem sleep alteration it increases the stage 3 and 4 sleep it does not disturb the sleep architecture morning impairment can be seen after taking this drug to some extent now this a uh, drug can be used for weaning of benzodiazepine the t half of the drug is 5 to 6 hours and it can be useful in short term treatment of insomnia zolpidem has a pronounced hypnotic effect it has no anti convulsant no muscle relaxant and anti anxiety effect the advantages of zolpidem are no effect on the sleep stages the residual daytime sedation is reduced and there is fading hypnotic action by zolpidem there is no rebound insomnia no tolerance no dependence no abuse and t half of the drug is 2 hours zaliplon is the shortest acting non non benzodiazepine group of drug the t half of the drug is 1 hour there is rapid absorption rapid metabolism there is uh, it can be used for the treatment of sleep onset insomnia in which the onset of the sleep is a problem for the patient so it can be used in such cases there is no tolerance and no dependence on the drug and it can be used over a period of 1 to 2 weeks 
Now the uses of the benzodiazepines. Firstly, hypnotic uh, use. Benzodiazepine is a drug of choice for hypnotic use. In dentistry, a dentist can prescribe a benzodiazepine to ensure sleep to apprehensive patient just before a surgery, dental surgery, and it can also be used to supplement analgesia. Diazepam is most commonly used in such cases to produce analgesia. Other uses include it can be used as an anxiolytic drug. It can be used as an anticonvulsant, a muscle relaxant, a pre-anesthetic medication and it can be used along with an analgesic, NSAID, spasmolytic or anti-ulcer. Uh, anti now the benzodiazepine antagonist, the antagonist for benzodiazepine is flumazenil. A uh, mnemonic to remember this antagonist for benzodiazepine, the Mercedes Benz, it just flies in the air it flew in the air so it is benzodiazepine antagonist flu flumazenil now benzodiazepine analog it is a the benzodiazepine antagonist is a benzodiazepine analog with little intrinsic activity flumazenil may act as a benzodiazepine agonist causing depression of the effect or it may act as an inverse agonist to benzodiazepine causing a stimulatory effect. The flumazenil counteracts the hypogenic, psychomotor, cognitive and e uh, EEG effects of benzodiazepine. The IV actions of flumazenil starts in seconds, it lasts for 1 to 2 hour and the elimination T half of the drug is 1 hour. So the uses of this a uh, benzodiazepine antagonist is to reverse the effect of benzodiazepine. It acts as a specific antidote during the poisoning or toxicity of benzodiazepine. So I think uh, this chap this topic of sedatives and hypnotics is clear to you all. The next lecture, very interesting, short and important lecture, the pharmacology of ethyl alcohol. Please subscribe to our channel, keep watching and happy studying.